Hello everyone, welcome back to Asha.academy. Today, let me walk you through the lesson on the face of it by Susan Hill. Oh, here we do have two characters, Mr. Lamb, and the next character is Derek, who's known to be Derek. So here, Mr. Lamb, let's start with Mr. Lamb, who's old and physically challenged, who has got a tin leg, and he's also known to be Lemmy Lamb here. However, this character is really very optimistic. He says that the whole world is a beautiful place. Whereas this character, Derek, who's uh, known to be Derry here throughout the lesson, he's just 14 year old boy and who has got a facial deformity, that is who has got ugly half burnt face due to acid burns. He's known to be a withdrawn, unsociable, defiant, resistant and reclusive one. So here withdrawn, which means that he never mixes with people at all, unsociable again, he never gets along with people, defiant and resistant, who resists or who challenges other statements here, reclusive, which means that who loves to be all alone, who loves to be in isolation. Yeah, and then here. So here this lesson talks much about articulation, alienation, inhibition, frustration and transformation. Articulation here, which means that narration. So this character, Mr. Lamb, he is good at articulation. He narrates very well. He converses or he speaks up very well, uh, whoever come to his garden there. So here, uh, alienation, when we talk about alienation, these two characters, that is Mr. Lamb and uh, Derek, both of them have been alienated from the society for, uh, for their physical uh, challenges here for the physical disability here and here inhibition when we talk about inhibition here this character Derry is scared of people inhibition which means that fear he is fear uh, he is scared of people and here the next word frustration so for them the sense of alienation causes frustration that was the source of frustration for them so here finally through his articulation through mr lamb's articulation through mr lamb's narration we can see a complete transformation in the attitude of this little uh, 14 year old boy and then number after number five we need to go to number six here yes so here Derry, he's scared of people's comments and the treatment of thoughtless people make him to uh, extremely self-conscious he hates the way he's being treated that's the reason why he shuns that is he avoids human company as they pass humiliating comments here and even his mother kisses on the right side of his face and that too he reasons here that is he hates his mother for kissing him on the right side of his face and he also refuses to believe anyone anyone can love him or kiss him and then the next one here let's move on to the next one number 10 so here when we talk about this character mr lamb he remains in his garden and he keeps himself busy. He loves reading books, fond of watching, waiting and listening. He tells a story about a timid man here, a man who's afraid of everything and finally he dies of a picture when he was in a confinement. And when we talk about what unites these two, there is a commonality between these two. What is the commonality here? They are physical impairment. Both of them are physically challenged ones. So here, the pain of alienation unites these two, that is Mr. Lamb and Derry. So here, this character, that is Mr. Lamb, who is an optimistic person, he believes in drawing out the best of an individual that's what he has done here in this lesson for this Derry. and here upon speaking to mr lamb for a while he gets to know that 
uh, Mr. Lamb, that is Derry gets to know that Mr. Lamb uh, has a way with everyone here. And Derry, uh, when, when Mr. Lamb requests him to be his friend, proposes him to be his friend, immediately he says that how is that possible for anyone to be to become a friend at the very first meeting and he also says that he would go back to his home to inform his mother upon getting her permission he would come back and immediately mr lamb says that that is a good excuse not to come back so that's what he says here but Derry somehow he tries to convince his mother and he also says that he wants to experience a world and he likes the garden and on top of it he wants to help mr lamb here while collecting the crab apple so here lamb here meanwhile what happens to lamb here lamb climbs a lamb climbs a ladder and finally Derry sees him dead and but even before that one Derry's mother had received negative reports about the old man and that's the reason why she denies permission she never allows uh, her son to meet Mr. Lamb but anyways Derry comes out of the house if he doesn't he would never ever see the bright side of the life stating that he comes out of the house here so this is the summary of the lesson and now let me share the ppt for you here is the ppt yes i do believe that this is visible to everyone yes okay so the very first slide talks about on the face of it by susan hill the title and the author's name and then comes the play deals with a sense of loss a sense of isolation and how to overcome it the actual pain caused by a physical impairment is often much less than the sense of alienation felt by the person What's the theme of the play here? The theme of the play is the consequences of physical impairment on the affected person's body, mind and soul. On the face of it, what's the meaning of this phrase on the face of it? When you are describing how something seems when it is first considered in order to suggest that people's opinion may change when they know or think more about the subject. So here initially, you may have a different opinion of, on certain things. But later on, when you get to know about uh, that particular thing or when you uh, get the insight of that particular subject, your opinion changes. So on the face of it. So that's the meaning. Then comes first scene. Derek encounters Mr. Lamb. Derek, a 14-year-old boy, enters a garden thinking it has an empty place. So there you can see crab apples. Finds an old man, Mr. Lamb, minding the apples. Derek feels embarrassed and wants to go back. Initially, he thought that no one uh, was there in that garden. But when he gets to know that old man is sitting over there, he's really embarrassed. Mr. Lamb assures him that he does not mind strangers. The gates of garden are open for everyone here. And then the next one. Derek, a complex ridden boy. So here this boy is full of uh, inferiority complex here because of his uh, bad experience. Thinks people are afraid of him because of his burnt face due to acid. Does not like to mix with Mr. Lamb. He thinks even his mother kisses him only on the good side of his face has bitterness for the world yes and here this man that is mr lamb narrates the story of beauty and the beast so here mr lamb's positive attitude tells direct that he too is handicapped 
he has lost his leg in war and that's the reason why he has got tin leg. He loves all creatures made by God. Nothing in this world is worthless. So here he says, he talks about even weeds here. So here Mr. Lamb points out that there is no difference between a flower plant and a weed since both are living and growing plants here. He advises direct to think of the beautiful objects of the world. Never believe on your eyes, believe on your ears. That's what he says here. So Lamb tries to make him understand that it is the inner beauty of a person that matters, not his outer beauty at all. And he asks him to avoid people's comments here. He also says that love all mankind because hatred corrodes us and hurts more than acids that's true he considers direct to be his friend he thinks his bees humming see for some people a uh, bee sound maybe and uh, may may cause a kind of irritation whereas for uh, mr lamb it's a humming sound mr lamb tells a story to give Derek a lesson so what what was the story here it's all about a timid man who refused to come out in fear of fatal accident here. So here he tells a story about a man who was always afraid of uh, being run over, of, run over or getting infected or meeting with some accident. So he locked himself in a room. There a picture fell on his head and killed him. There he told about the worry of the parents for him and told that he would starve and die but mr lamb does not agree with him he points out that he had got brain and limbs all his organs are intact here change in direct's attitude upon speaking or having a conversation with mr lamb we can see a great transformation in direct's attitude initially he was scared of everyone and now he's a, a completely changed personality he takes interest in mr lamb's talking he likes mr lamb's house without curtain he likes to listen more to mr lamb he asks derry to be a friend but derry asks how they can be friends only in one meeting wants to help so here, the previous one, wants to help Mr. Lamb in his work. So now he has become a bit generous. Derek, follower of Mr. Lamb here, now he's a changed individual. He runs home and tells his mother about his decision. In spite of mother's protest, he runs back to help Mr. Lamb in collecting crab apples and to prepare gel. Mr. Lamb has fallen down along with the ladder, does not respond to Derek's words, he is dead. Before he passes away, he brings out the best of an individual through his peculiar way of speaking. So here, thus Mr. Lamb has infected in Derry a sense of hope, love for life and curiosity to discover the simple joys Lamb has awakened a desire in Derry to face the world with his disfigured and spoiled face. Thank you. Thanks for listening to me patiently. Please do like, share and subscribe. Bye-bye.